Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to view and transfer the FSMO roles in Active Directory. By default, when Active Directory is installed, all five FSMO roles are assigned to the first domain controller in the forest root domain. However, there are scenarios when an administrator would want to move one or more of the FSMO roles from the default holder DC to a different DC. Moving the FSMO roles while both the original FSMO role holder and the future FSMO role holder are online and operational is called transferring. There are total 5 FSMO roles in an active directory domain. Out of those 5 roles, 2 roles are unique for an active directory forest. The schema master and domain naming master. The schema master is responsible for making changes to the active directory schema. For example, when upgrading the AD schema using the AD prep slash forest prep command. The domain naming master provides unique names for all domains and application sections you create in your AD forest. To manage it, you need enterprise admin privileges. There are three roles for each domain. The PDC emulator, the infrastructure master and the RID master. To manage them, your account must be member of the domain admins group. The PDC emulator tracks user lockouts when entering wrong passwords. It is the main NTP server in your domain. It is used to provide backward compatibilities with clients running the older version of Windows operating system. And it is also used by DFS root servers to update the namespace information. The infrastructure master is responsible for updating the cross domain object links and the AD prep slash domain prep command is run on it. Server with the RID master role distributes RIDs in pack by 500 PCs to other domain controllers to create unique object identifiers. This is also known as SID. Before moving the FSMO roles, it is a good idea to check which domain controllers hold which role. You can find where all the FSMO roles are currently located by running the net dom query fsmo command from the command prompt. You can also use powershell commands to find current fsmo role holders. Right click on start menu and select windows powershell admin. Type command net dom query fsmo and press enter key to view the current fsmo role holders. As we can see all 5 fsmo roles are currently assigned to domain controller WS2022-DC01, which is the first domain controller of our active directory forest. We have single domain AD forest with two Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We want to transfer FSMO roles from WS2022-DC01 to WS2022-DC02 domain controller, which is our second domain controller. You will need a proper planning to assigning the FSMO roles to your domain controller. Since this is a test lab, I'll only cover the steps to transfer FSMO roles. There are several ways to transfer the FSMO role to another domain controller. You can use GUI tools or CUI tools like Command Prompt and Windows PowerShell. Personally, I feel transferring roles with PowerShell is by far the easier option of the two. We will cover both options in this video. You want to log in to the domain controller that you will be transferring the roles to. We have used a domain administrator's credential, which is the member of enterprise admin group and domain admin group. First, let's use GUI to transfer FSMO roles. There are three different consoles that we will need to use to transfer all the roles. RID master, PDC emulator and infrastructure master roles are done in the active directory users and computers console. Domain naming role can be transferred in the active directory domains and trust. 
the schema admin role requires loading the Active Directory Schema MMC snap-in. As SAO Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Right-click on your domain and choose Operation Masters. And this shows the current selected domain controller name, which is WS2022-DC02 in our case. To transfer the roles, it is necessary to first select the destination domain controller. Transfer each role to the new domain controller. Click on Change. On Confirmation window, click Yes to transfer. The Operation Master role was successfully transferred. Click OK. On RID tab, now we can confirm under Operation Masters, WS2022-DC02 domain controller is listed. We need to do the same for other two roles. Click on PDC tab. Click on Change. Click on Yes. Click OK. Click on Infrastructure tab. Click on Change. Click on Yes to transfer the role. Click OK. All three domain-wide FSMO role transferred to the WS2022-DC02 domain controller. We will need to manually load the Active Directory schema add-in in MMC console to transfer the schema master role. But before we can do that, we will need to register a DLL file on the domain controller. Open command prompt or PowerShell as an admin. Type rag svr32 schmmgmt.dll and press enter key. Wait for the success message and click OK. Type MMC and hit enter. Click on File and select Add Remove Snap-in. Select Active Directory Schema. Click on Add and click on OK. Right-click on Active Directory Schema and choose Operation Master. The current Schema Master is WS2022-DC01 and the current role holder domain controller is selected which is also WS2022-DC01 domain controller. Before we can transfer the FSMO role, first we need to connect to our WS2022-DC02 domain controller. Click Close. Right-click on Active Directory Schema. Choose Change Active Directory Domain Controller. Select WS2022-DC02 domain controller from the list and click OK to connect it. We will see a message that the DC you are connecting is not a schema master. You won't be able to modify the schema on that DC. Click OK to continue. Again, right click on Active Directory Schema and choose Operations Master. Make sure that this time current domain controller is selected. Click Change to transfer the role. Click on Yes on Confirmation window. Click OK to close the window. Confirm that the WS2022-DC02 is now listed as a Schema Master. Click on Close. Let's close the MMC window. Click No as we don't want to save the MMC console. To transfer the domain naming operations master role, you will need to open Active Directory Domains and Trust. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Domains and Trust. Right-click on Active Directory Domains and Trust and select Operations Master. The domain controller that holds the domain naming master role will appear. Click on Change to move the FSMO role. Click on Yes. Click OK. And close the window. Go back to Windows PowerShell. Again type command dom query FSMO and press Enter key. Confirm that the WS2022-DC02 currently holds all 5 FSMO role. So we have transferred all 5 FSMO roles to the new domain controller by using GUI method. Now we want to again transfer all 5 FSMO roles from DC02 to DC01 using CUI method. And in CUI, the easiest way to transfer FSMO roles is with the help of Windows PowerShell. We can transfer all the roles with one command or transfer each role individually to another server. 
we will be using the move hyphen ad directory server operation master role cmd lead to transfer the roles you can specify which role you want to move or specify all of them in a single command first let me clear the screen type cmd lead move hyphen ad directory operation master role hyphen identity ws2022 hyphen dc01 hyphen operation master role rid master the hyphen identity switch is used to specify the target domain controller and the hyphen operation master role is used to specify which role to transfer you can use either the role name a number to specify which role to move this table shows the details the number 0 for pd simulator 1 for rid master 2 for infrastructure master 3 for schema master and 4 for domain naming master in this example we want to transfer rid master role to ws2022 hyphen dc01 domain controller let's press enter key to transfer rid master role to ws2022 hyphen dc01 type y and hit enter type net dom query fsmo and hit enter confirm rid master role is currently held by ws2022 hyphen dc01 type cmd lead move hyphen ad directory server operation master role hyphen identity ws2022 hyphen dc01 hyphen operation master role 0 so instead of rid master this time i'm going to use 0 number 0 is used to specify pdc emulator master role press enter key type y and hit enter type net dom query fsmo and hit enter confirm pdc emulator master role is currently held by ws2022 hyphen dc01 For example, if you want to transfer all five FSMO roles with single command, you have to type cmd lead move hyphen ad directory server operation master role hyphen identity ws2022 hyphen dc01 hyphen operation master role zero one two three and four. Now press enter key. Either type y to prompt on each role move or type a to accept all prompts. type a to transfer all roles at once and hit enter again run command net dom query fsmo to see the name of current role owner dc verify that ws2022 hyphen dc01 is currently occupying all five fsmo roles in this video you learn how to transfer fsmo roles in active directory with windows powershell and gui consoles Listing and transferring the FSMO roles to a new server with PowerShell is much faster. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.